Hi, welcome back to our sketchbook series. Today is the frequently asked question video. This is the last video in the sketchbook series. The first question I get from students is what if I need enough more room? I don't have enough room in my five sections. This is great. You shouldn't have enough room in these five sections. If you um, find a place that you need more room, all I want you to do is draw a red arrow in that section and that tells me that I need to turn the page to find more. So in this uh, sketchbook the student is exploring human nature metamorphosis and they have drawn an arrow. So that tells me that I need to um, turn the page to find more information. Um, in this case the student happened to have some have it backwards but here um, you can see that they have added way more work for their artist inspiration into their sketchbook. And as long as the red arrow is in that section, then I will know to look for more. The next question is, what if I cannot draw well? Well, you can see from these pages that um, you, all you need is very minimal sketches, but if you don't feel comfortable with that at all, then you are welcome to tape or glue in pictures that you've printed off um, the internet um, or pictures you have found in a magazine that you can cut up. Um, so you're welcome to print out stuff and here's an example um, on the jewelry unit. So you would just draw your arrow and then you can turn to another page and you can glue it down or tape it down. So I recommend that you use stick glue. So you don't have to be able to draw at all, um, and you can still have lots of images in your sketchbook. What are our assignments and when are they due? In your folder, you will find all of the sketchbook assignments with rubrics, and in the About section of our Google Classroom, you will find your calendar with all of the due dates. Can I put other things in my sketchbook? Yes, there's way more pages here than you're going to need. So anytime that you, um, are maybe in class and you're doodling or maybe you're in study hall you can just play in your sketchbook this is a great place to just keep your ideas all in one place um, another thing that um, to keep in mind is that you don't have to just think in pictures if it helps you to make outlines and brainstorm like this you are welcome to do that in your sketchbook what are the I can statements for this assignment? You know that we always have to write our I can statements on our rubrics. Um, the I can statements are I can solve a problem in a creative and original way, and I can investigate and examine the work of other artists to use in my own artwork. Another question, the last question that I have, um, I always get the can we use or do we have to use color and I just wanted to show you here's a good example of a student who has she's cut out some samples she's used some color to work out her ideas um, and then of course in this case the student um, is starting to use color and then in her final plan she's included her color because that was an important part of her plan how she was going to finish her piece it's not required on the rubric but again I always encourage you to use color hopefully that covers all of your questions but if not please feel free to come up and ask me in class